In this demonstration video, we're going to see how we can use the ANSYS multi-zone mesher to mesh a part that looks like what you see on the screen here. Now, if we go ahead and just uh, default mesh this part, you're going to see that we're going to get a tetrahedral mesh. Okay, but let's say we want to use the multi-zone mesher. First thing we do is pick the part, insert method, and then on the method, we're going to pick multi-zone. So now we're going to try again. and we still get a tetrahedral mesh, but technically um, we have an obsolete mesh here. So it was able to put on the multi-zone mesh. So basically what the multi-zone mesh is looking to do is, is sweep it, um, but in you know multiple multiple directions. But this in this case, it can't determine uh, how to do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use um, a little bit of virtual topology um, to accomplish that. So what we're going to do is go back, go back to the geometry, and virtually we're going to slice this up such that this region of the model could be swept in this direction, and this region could be swept in the x direction. So in the z direction, we'll get a sweep, and the x direction will get a sweep. Um, but looking at that right now, if you were to sweep in any in those directions, you wouldn't be able to accomplish it unless you did go to say Design Modeler and physically sliced it into two bodies, and then you could. Um, but this is an alternative preventing you from having to go back to make the modifications at the geometry level. So we're going to do it at, with a virtual topology. So we'll right click on model, insert virtual topology. And now with the virtual topology, I'm going to go ahead and pick this edge and I'm going to click right around here on the screen, right click and say insert virtual split edge. So virtually it's now split that edge. Um, I'm going to do the same thing, okay, just kind of eyeballing this. Pick over here, insert virtual split edge. So essentially now those edges are split. Um, the next thing we need to do is split the faces. So you change the selection to the vertex mode and we, we're going to go ahead and control click the two vertices. And then you right click and say insert virtual split face. So now the face is split. We're going to do the same thing up here. Split this. And then finally over here. Okay. Now virtually the topology has been split. So now if I go ahead and let's go ahead and try and generate the mesh on this part. We'll see that it's going to be able to sweep mesh in the two directions. So it was able, because of the split, to sweep in the z direction here, and this part of the, the nozzle was swept in the x direction. So this concludes a simple demonstration on how to use virtual topology along with the multi-zone mesh to achieve a structured hex mesh on a somewhat arbitrary shaped part.